Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be another blow dryer brush review. I will link below, I've already reviewed and compared the Revlon with the dry bar. Um, I think it's called Double Shot. And so this is the brand new Amica blow dryer brush. So this came out and the price point is a little bit lower than the dry bar one, but it's definitely higher than the Revlon one. So I'm going to compare these two and tell you what I like and don't like about them. And I'll start with the more expensive one and the newest one, which is the Amica. And this is the Amica Hair Blow Dryer Brush. And I got this from Sephora. You can also get it from the Amica website. I think I will um, put the links to the website below. Uh, but it retails for $100, at least on Sephora. And I got it there because you can do returns if you don't like it. I'm not quite sure about Amica's return policy. So this is what the product looks like. It comes in a nice box, but it was kind of too big to bring out. So it's black and only comes in one color. And it has Amica here. It says it's an innovative blow dryer brush, but it literally is a copycat of the Revlon, um, except more expensive. So it says it's for straight, wavy, curly, and coily hair, fine, medium, thick hair. My hair, as you can see, and I've used it today, my hair is very curly, thick, wavy. It is color treated and um, it is very hard to manage. It is prone to frizz. So that's kind of my hair type. It's very hard to manage type of hair. Um, and I have a review on the, the dry bar um, double shot below too. So I'm just gonna talk about this one for now. It's got a similar kind of large oval barrel that the Revlon does. So both of them are designed the same. Comparing the two, the Revlon is just a little bit, maybe by, mm, I would say half an inch bigger in terms of the width, but they're very similar. This one is a little bit easier to travel with because I, like I said, it's a little bit maybe by half an inch smaller in terms of the width. They're both about equal weight, so one's not heavier than the other. In terms of the bristles, there's a big difference. So the bristles on this one are more plasticky, I feel like, and it says it's um, large oval barrel and it's tourmaline coated, which is apparently good for ions to decrease frizz. And it's got a mix of long and short bristles that, to detangle. It doesn't say what types of bristles, but I feel like it's plastic with a mix of maybe brush type in the middle. What I've noticed on this one is the design of the bristles is very similar. So if you look up close, it's almost like a wave pattern. If you look at the dry bar um, double shot, it's very vertical. So this one copied the Revlon in a very similar way. And you can see this one's got a lot of hair in it because I use it a lot. Um, but this has got more wavy pattern. And you see the distinction more because the plastic balls and bristles on this one are in pink, whereas kind of the brush type bristles are in black but it is a wave pattern and I think that actually helps to decrease the fr frizz and, and uh, create the tension to straighten your hair. So this one, like the Revlon, when you're comparing, has three heat settings and it's in the same place. So it's on the bottom and you literally, it's like a dial, you click and it's got an off button, a cool shot button, and then a low heat and a high heat. And it's, so it's adjustable three heat settings. Um, in terms of that and what I did not like about it. What I like about it is it looks better than nothing. And for those of you who see the difference in the two sides of my hair, that's because this side has been done with the Revlon and this side has been done with the Amica. You can tell that, and it's now about seven o'clock in the evening, so I wanted to test it out and see how it lasts the whole day. So when I originally did it, they were very similar. But for some reason, this one doesn't hold my hair as well. I use the same blowout cream and it was the Aura Bay Super Shine. So I will link that below in my review on that below. I love it, by the way. Um, but it's been very hot today, very high humidity. This one does not have as high heat as the Revlon. And I think that that's why, at least for my type of hair, it doesn't last as well. Sorry about the birds chirping in the background. I wanted to be outside today. Um, but for hair that's, I would say, a little bit thinner, a little bit finer, not as thick or unmanageable, this would work fine. But if you're going to use it, you might as well use the Revlon and the Low Shot um, in, in terms of the low heat setting. 
What I also noticed about it, and this is also probably why it didn't work as well on my hair, this is 950 watts. This one, the Revlon, is 1100 watt power. So this has more power and it's hotter. It definitely gets hotter. Um, and the last, and I think the biggest kind of difference that I see is the end. So you see on this end, it's much wider than the Revlon. And this is, the Revlon is more circular, whereas at the tip of the ends, the Amica is more oval um, type of setting. And it's actually harder to maneuver because when you put it in your hair and you go like this, you hold the ends to turn it, it's much harder to do with the longer tip. They're both cool end tips, so that's a good thing. You won't burn yourself. But this is harder to maneuver through your hair. And I felt like the Revlon was much smoother running through my hair and easier to manage um, in my hand as a blow dryer brush. So I've also, another thing I didn't like about the Amica is that there were a lot of um, good reviews on Amica, but also many reviews on Sephora that said that it broke after using it two times. It was cheaply made, and it does feel cheaply made. It kind of feels plasticky, um, and it's harder to use, but it is better than nothing. I personally would not pay $100 for this. Compared to the Revlon that is $59.99, I would say the Revlon works much better, at least on my type of hair, for $60. And even if your hair is not... Um, as thick and unmanageable as my hair, you might as well use the Revlon on the low setting because why pay $100 um, for something when something works better or equally as well for half that price. So that's the review on the Amica. And for me, I would not repurchase. I would say that it's a fail, especially if you have thick, curly hair like mine. It is measurably smoother and straighter on the right side or on my right side, which is probably your left side, um, when I use the Revlon. Um, on the side where I'm holding it next to the Amica is when I use the Amica and you can see visible, more curlier hair pattern, not as much frizz because I used an anti-frizz product, but definitely, especially at the ends, you can see the frizz kind of coming back up because it's been a long day and it's been hot. So for me, this one's a no. I will say this though, both of them have long swivel cords, so um, that's not a problem if it's something that you're looking at. Now with the Revlon. So the Revlon is called two different things. On Ulta's website, it's called the Revlon One Step Volumizer Hair Dryer. Don't get worried because of the word volumizer. If you don't want poofy hair, you want something to smooth this hair out. It's called the volumizer because you can volumize your roots and get nice body and things like that, but it does smooth your hair. So love 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 this i have tested this on against the dry bar against the dyson um, and against now the amica and every time this wins and i've had this one the longest i think i've had it for like two years now and i love it it's also won the allure best beauty 2019 winner and i'm sure many other winner awards so it retails right now and i'm talking about august 2020 it is on the Bed Bath and uh, Beyond website for $41.99. So you can get uh, almost $20 off. Uh, for whatever reason, this color, the pink and black, which I like, is $41.99. I think it's a student discount. I guess it's August, back to school, whatever you have it. But it's called the Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Step Dryer and Volumizer Brush. So I will also... Um, put that below so you can see the name of it of how it's called at Bed Bath & Beyond. Right now it's $41.99 on sale. The it also comes in a turquoise color where it's all turquoise and for that for some reason that one's $59.99. It's the same product um, but on Ulta as I said it's called the Revlon One Step Volumizer Hair Dryer and it is $59.99. Um, also comes in two colors this one the pink and black which is the pink and black and the turquoise version so I love it it is a one-step hair dryer same kind of idea as the other one you use it how you use it is you come out and towel dry hair like I would not personally use this on dry hair I don't think it's as effective but it's essentially a blow dryer brush so you don't have to use a blow dryer in one hand and a brush in another. Um, you section off your hair and you put your product in and you just blow dry your ha hair out. This is to be used so that when you put your hair like this, you can just kind of 
do the tension and make your hair straighter. I love this. It goes through my hair very easily and my hair is super unmanageable, hard to handle type of hair. Um, it's got nylon pin and um, tufted bristles. It says it detangles really, really well. I would use a heat protectant. Obviously, when you're using any heat tools, you want to do that to protect your hair. This also has three heat settings. Sometimes on the website, it will say two because they don't count the cool shot. So when it's three settings, it means the, the it's got the off, but it's got the cool shot. It's the same kind of dial type thing. And I've never had a problem with it in two years. It's never malfunctioned or turned off or anything like that. Sometimes I have to hit the reset. Um, where is it? on the end, so the red reset button to kind of reset, but never had a problem with it. So it's got the off, then it's got the cool, so the cool shot to um, set your hair, and then it's got a low and a high setting. The low setting on this is like the high setting on this, and it's because, like I said, the Revlon has a higher powder power. So the Revlon's low is like the high on the Amica, and also the dry bar. Um, so this definitely has more power. Some people don't like that because if you have fine hair or hair that's not as unmanageable, some people think this gets too hot and it does get really hot. So if you are that type of person, use it on the low setting. If you have hair like mine that is coarse, hard to treat, frizzy hair, you want to use it on the high setting because that's the way, it, the only way basically it will smooth it out. So that's what I would suggest on this. This is again, 1100 watts of power. And out of these two, my pick, the winner is this one, the Revlon. Um, it's not even a contest to me. And I'm happy about that because it's the cheaper product, right? So I wanted to say that, oh yeah, the higher quality product, the more expensive product works better. But I've tried them against three and still the Revlon one step beats it every time. So if you have other suggestions on hair products or hair tools that you want me to review, I would love to do that. If you like my review, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and um, leave your comments below. And until next time, YouTubers, thanks for watching.